Okay, welcome to chapter two of Imperial Maledictum, an ancient evil. Uh, tonight I have uh, four players. I have a ghost as Jengus, um, I have Walter Peck as Thane, I have Zypher as Newt, and Slip as Claudia, who will be introduced momentarily. I will read a introduction. All right, let's make sure everybody can see this. And then, all right, so Starfall, chapter two. Newt, Jengus, and Thane are now in possession of their Lord's desire, a box. Such a simple thing. What was inside? It was hard to say. The box was locked, and perhaps that was for the better. The trio had learned from the data slates that this object was of Xenos origin. It was not too surprising as to what the rogue traders get away with, but the landing party of raiders seemed to suggest that whatever it was, it was in demand. Unfortunately, death had been dealt by the agents of House Von Skald, and they could not take it back. Not now. A melt -a gun to the face does not heal easily. But now they stood at the exit of what was surely a getaway route from the temple. But their escape was blocked, blocked by a half dozen feudal soldiers on strange mounts. What did they want? Why were they here? And uh, let me switch the scene. Just let me know if you can't see that. I can see. I can see. Um. Let me get some appropriate music going here. I don't want that anymore. Let's see. Why is it not expanding? Oh, okay. Um, you exit this cave, stepping over the tripwire, which certainly would have uh, incinerated you or injured you at the very least. You head out uh, from that uh, open gateway towards the temple uh, out into the forest above. You look up through the canopy of trees and see flashes in the sky as what you can make out as two void ships in the night coming. Uh, broadsiding each other with massive volleys of fire. Um, you see smoke billowing from the temple which you had just fled. And you see uh, the constant uh, movement of uh, lightning flashes, uh, flashes of light, um, cannons, and the roaring of gunfire. Um, just ter total. Um, you know, pandemonium seemingly over from the temple area. Um, some sort of large engagement, which kind of surprises you as the um, temple was not heavily guarded. As you head out of uh, this pathway towards the forest itself, not really knowing where you are or where to go, you see standing in front of you um, a group of uh, six individuals on horseback, well, not horses exactly, but something similar with four legs, um, the size of horses with two heads, uh, but looking slightly different, um, but some sort of native animal to this place, you think. Um, these individuals, uh, a few of them have very, very archaic guns pointed at you, which you not really sure but they look old and not advanced at all um, the hammers are cocked back though and you're sure no matter what they are they could kill a man uh, at their forefront is a, a woman with a cyber eye a sword on her hip and a um, uh, more um, recent uh, weaponry uh, also uh, something like a hand cannon and uh, I'll let uh, everyone kind of kick it off what they what they're doing. Thane had emerged from the uh, cavern uh, underneath the temple, 
uh, leading the trio after the tripwire had been discovered by, if memory serves, Jengis. Uh, and this for Slip and the everyone saying uh, you would see him and he looks almost to be your kind of standard Astra Militarum soldier. He's got the standard Imperial Guard flak vest armor. He has uh, all the weapons and kits of maybe a, a veteran uh, with all the trinkets and holy symbols. Uh, the only thing of note for those that understand weaponry is uh, he doesn't carry the standard lasgun. It looks like a much more advanced uh, weapon than standard issue. Uh, anyone with a lot of experience would recognize it as a, a hell gun. And uh, behind him are his two uh, companions. Jengis stands a bit off uh, angle from Thane. Wide brimmed hat. Seems to be a mask on his face. A uh, bit of a poncho draped over his shoulders that goes down over a full suit of body glove armor. Bandoliers over his chest and back. A gun holster on his side which his hand hovers over. His eyes are kind of a eerie dark um, with uh, lightish irises um, black sclera in his eyes um, doesn't look dressed for this planet definitely not of this planet um, but he stands aloft at the ready wary new uh, is standing behind Jangus and Thane. Uh, he towers over them, uh, you know, like maybe six, 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 seven. Uh, giant of a man. <clears throat> he has his great sword out, um, and clearly the sword is almost half the size of a uh, regular man. Newt's wearing. Um, Flak armor uh, underneath what looks like uh, animal fur uh, coat. He has uh, close crop hair, a large Viking like beard, uh, and he's kind of looking around. Especially his eyes are drawn to the sky. Um, Y'all would know it's a void battle, but Newt is not sure what he's seeing, and the, the sight of a void battle. Uh, mesmerizes him. Uh, he, he almost has the body language of not really being um, tense or afraid of the guards pointing guns at him. Uh, but the, the 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 starlight show in 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 the black space definitely holds his gaze. The woman who leads the party uh, approaches. Um, in the lead and slows her pace on the mount the horse-like mount with two heads um, cautiously uh, gestures with one hand for the men behind her to fall back just a little bit as she pauses uh, brings her mount to a halt and dismounts um, she presents a bit of a dichotomy. The men behind her are dressed in what you presume is native garb. And everything appears to be made of materials that would be naturally found on this world and produced according to the local technology. But she does have a stub pistol and that cyber eye um, making her definitely stand out. As she dismounts, she eyes you each three in turn with caution, but some degree of... You might expect fear or um, suspicion, but there's a different expression on her face, almost as, ex as if she expected you. And uh, she approaches you each, you, you three, with her hands up not raising the pistol in the air. Um, obviously a gesture of 
teeth. And uh, as she comes closer, she reaches within about 10 feet of you all and uh, then lowers her hand and says, Did he send you? Did who send us? Identify yourself. She... There's a little uh, exchange of expression, almost as if she were slightly offended. Um, But then she changes her expression to be more neutral and says, Him. Torn. The visitor. The one who told me to come here. He said to expect uh, at the temple off-worlders who might uh, be able to help. Thane kind of looks to Jangus and Newt looking for any sort of reaction from them. What was the name that she gave? Tarn. Tarn. Tarn the Pilgrim. Uh, Out of character, is that ringing any bells? I'm not sure the name got used, but uh, yeah, there there is a Tarn character. Was that the guy I put a hole in his face? Yes. Yeah, yes. Um, that's what I thought. <laughs> so, uh, Thane looks to him, he kind of, or looks to this woman, he goes, We are not, uh, friends of this Tarn, we are agents of a rogue trader. Who is this Tarn? What does he look like? She seems to... She backs up subconsciously, you know, without thinking about a foot came in robes. He was dressed as a pilgrim. He came to the temple in a ship. A ship from off-world. Uh-huh. And, uh, did he mention, uh, happen to mention who he served, or? Came to the temple. Well, it wasn't really business of mine, but something about heresy. Yeah, Jengus, shit, comes under his breath. And he, he goes up next to Thane and uh, whisper. It might have been that, uh, that uh, fellow we thought might be with the Yank position. The one uh, we shot. She's looking at you each. She can't hear what you're saying, but she's... You know, got her eyes squinted, examining your expressions closely as you talk amongst yourselves. Yeah, Thane kind of nods to Jangus' words and looks and he goes, I believe the individual you were talking about fell in the battle in the temple. Uh, there was an attack by, we believe, uh, Zeno sympathizing cultists. Uh, he fell in the exchange of fire, I believe. Her face falls a little bit, you know, a little distressed, obviously not like in serious grief, but, you know, disappointed. She reaches up with one hand to touch the cyber eye. I'm sorry to hear that, but he did seem to think that that might be a possibility. He said, Well, if he should not return, our things seem to go amiss to come here. And that I would see, I would meet those that might, that might help. Hmm. It seems we have a common foe, perhaps. Uh, We can work together. Did he, this individual, give you instructions on what to do once you met him here? I see that you and your guardsmen were busy uh, engaging the enemy when we exited this cavern. She looks a little frustrated. Just... Yeah, they look at each other. They're, they're clearly a little confused about that statement. It's about, 
the smugglers. Oh, are you here to kill the smugglers? Tarn had a ship. And she looks up at the temple. It was here. But the smugglers, they, they've been feeding off it, taking it apart bit by bit. Aside from all the other trouble they've been causing. Well, uh, we, uh, came here for other business, but we are servants of the, the king of the world, so maybe you could help us out, and you know, if we happen to solve your smuggler issue on the way, maybe we could do some kind of uh, tit-for-tat situation. We gotta get off the world with that. To complete our mission. You're... Uh, you're from off-world. So you have a ship. Maybe. And Thane kind of points up to whatever, whatever void engagement is going on. She looks up. That's your ship up there? Hard to tell from down here, as you might imagine. I don't think any of our eyes are quite so good. We had a smaller ship came and dropped us off, but with the fighting at the temple, well, who knows if we can use that one. If you're not here because of Tarn, why are you here? Yeah, Jangus looks at Thane and then he's gonna... We came here for the blessings. The Archbishop blessed us. We were told that this temple will help in our quest. She narrows her eyes and... He blessed us for a long time. It was quite boring, but our master said, uh, our rogue trader master said, we needed to be blessed before we were sent on our mission. And then the fighting broke out. And we were fortunate to find this tunnel as an escape. So you came to the temple as pilgrims. It is... I am not sure what that word means. But we came as loyal subjects of the Emperor. My name is Newt, and I'm a loyal subject of the Emperor. Now it seems that the ships are fighting in the void like great gods. We must get back there to assist our Lord. We must get back there quickly. What about the ship that brought you here? Unknown. We try to raise that ship, but nobody responds it seems in this fight no one knows who the enemy is uh, but we know we are not and you have not shot us so it makes you not the enemy as well for now if you can point us back to our ship or another ship like my friend Jangus said here maybe we can help you out with problem that you might have. After all, we are all loyal subjects of the Emperor, aren't we? She kind of waves her hand. Uh, of course, of course. And she looks you each up and down at your weapons, pausing, you know, at your armor. Did you have something to say, man in the hat? Just uh, carrying on with my well-spoken friend Newt's dialect there. Us all being servants of the Emperor, might as well help one another out. Don't see mm. no reason why not. She kind of sits back on her heels for a minute, you know, leans back, thinking. Well, uh, perhaps, perhaps we can help each other. 
If you need a ship to get off the planet, well, Tarn, he had one. And he seemed to know you'd be coming. Strangely enough, since you don't seem to know the fella I'm thinking of. But use that ship. You need to get rid of these, uh, off-worlders that have been, uh, feeding off my people bit by bit. They've been taking apart the ship. I don't think it's functional at the moment because they've taken the bits that they like. But I know where they are. I'd even be, uh, and she kind of looks back at her men. Inclined to give you a hand if you thought it might, uh, get these fellas off my, uh, planet in the process. And she then reaches down and kind of touches the stub pistol. I'm not completely without means. One of your men just, uh, oh, we got to go back there? I did that monstrosity. My lady Claudia, I... She, she, she kind of hisses at them. Quite. There, uh, there's some obstacles. Uh, it's not as if we haven't made the attempt. But uh, they do have... And she kind of looks embarrassed. Um, they've got some sort of man. A giant man. He's got an arm. An arm that cuts things like... Uh, with some sort of blade that spins and spins. I have not seen the like on our planet. Well, begging pardon, but we've got one of those ourselves. He gestures over at Newt. But when you say it spins and spins, it's a big armored fella. It was armored. Is he armored or is he without armor? What does I, it look like? He seems to be all armor to me. Are you speaking of a combat servitor, perhaps? And he kind of looks at Jengis, and she sounds like somebody with a chain sword. She just kind of blinks at you. He's nigh ten feet tall. And, as I said, seems to be all armor. I can't even get a peek at the man. I've never seen a man that big. Perhaps he's inside some sort of mechanism or armor that makes him seem bigger than he is. Uh, not a character. Can I... Do we encounter anybody who was in... Well, we, we encountered chaos cultists and stuff, right? When we were in... Dark Heresy 2 wasn't there... Something I feel like there. Them? I feel like there might have been. I don't. I don't think from the description you could suss out what it would be um, without seeing it. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So they, I mean, the chainsword is a good guess, right? I mean, I think that's right. I mean, but I mean, yeah, but every, other people use chainswords too. Yeah. Yeah. So it could I be anything. It, good... Yeah. You, you don't yeah. really know, but I, I think I've been mean, there's some good. I, I think WP's on the right track. Gotcha. Yeah, so, um, Jangus will look, look to, so Jangus will first try to, he'll try to raise them, his, his own, their own transport one more time. So yeah, you, like, you use the microbead to, to signal over to Bettany and she doesn't answer, it's nothing. static again. Okay. Yeah, so Jangus looks to Thane and he, he gestures to the Vox bead and kind of does like a, a no-go motion over his over his throat like that. Yeah, it's not working. He's like... What you think there, Sergeant? Wanna take her up on her offer? We might be... all that this, uh... little cadre needs to tip the scales. Get ourselves off this planet back to the rogue crater. Hearing the static on the Voxes, Jengus tries to raise Bettany over the comms. He, he nods to him and he turns back to the woman and he goes, Well, holds his hand out to shake. He goes, It seems we have an accord. My name's Thane, by the way, and appears we'll be helping each other out. We'll take care of your uh, monster problem in exchange for 
getting off this planet and the lighter your uh, friend Torm had. Does that sound fair? She looks at him for a moment, leveling her gaze up at his, you know, that one cyber eye, you know, focusing a laser pointer uncomfortably. After she seems to consider for a moment, she sticks out her hand and shakes yours firmly. I'm Sheriff Tarm. Claudia. I mean, Sheriff Khan. Claudia Khan. <laughs> oh, no. I heard Tarm. I heard Tarm and I was like, ooh, awkward. Um, I hope <laughs> you weren't related. Yeah. Claudia Khan. No, my daddy, he died long ago. Oh, whew. Well then, Claudia, Sheriff Claudia, I should say. I don't want to not use your title. Take us uh, to this monster. Is it close by, or what kind of kind of distance do we need to travel? Uh, about how far away? It's, I mean, are it's the... less than a, a mile away. It's it's in these woods. And you, you, you know you know where it is, and you know um, kind of a lookout spot that you think um, that you could get a good view. But uh, you you do suspect that it's uh, that you'd have to sneak there to get to that lookout spot to get a good view without just rushing into the fight. Sure. She says, uh, "I think we can afford to show some caution here. There's a spot I know," and she points to the woods. Where you might be able to get some good uh, reconnaissance on this uh, camp, on this giant with the arm made of steel, with the saw that spins. I can take you there. And she looks at the other Starfell guards and she says, one of you needs to go back to camp. He needs to go back to the town. Keep an eye on things there in case we need to send for you. Uh, the one that spoke up, I'll go. <laughs> and, uh, he doesn't really wait. He just kind of pulls the reins on his uh, mount and gives a nod. I'll make sure everything's uh, well in hand. <sighs> May the yeah. prophet, I mean, the god emperor watch over you. She rolls her one eye and says, of course I'm out to you. Get Get back to town. Yeah, he turns and the thing hoofs off. And uh, she says, uh, well, uh, unless you have something else you need to do, then uh, she goes back over to her mount and kind of pats both heads with one hand. And uh, puts her foot in the stirrup and pulls herself back up. I can lead the way. Yeah, that'd be mighty kind of you. That's not about kindness, she says, and look back, looks back at him with a smile. It's a matter of necessity. These uh, outworlders have been a scourge for far too long. She clucks and kind of uh, gives a gentle nudge the ribs of the beast that she's mounted on and starts to take off through the force. Thane kind of sighs and mumbles. He's like, infantry always walks and kind of follows behind these people on their mounts. Genghis is gonna um, start following. He'll walk up. I'll walk up next to Thane. Um, talking in a hush, of course. Well, Seems like we got an accord for now, but I reckon if any of these folks find out the actuality of what occurred, it might not be good for any one of us. I already said what occurred. He died during the attack on the temple. Technically true, but if she were to find out the minutia of it, which I don't think she will, I still think we should be prepared. I, well, they seem all right so far. I'd rather not have it come to a gunfight, but maybe we should just be ready as all. Fair enough. We'll cross that bridge, as they say. 
when the time comes for now, we'll, uh, the enemy of the enemy is our friend, as they say. It's a pretty good saying. You know, fall back a bit and pat it on your shoulder. What you're all muttering about? Uh, nothing, just cursing bad luck is all. We were lamenting the lack of extra mounts for us. Well, she kind of looks around. You've come this far without amounts. I figure you can go a kilometer more longer. <laughs> Same kind of snorts. <laughs> Says the person on the mount. That's fine. <clears throat> That's fine. Yeah. Not tired or thirsty or anything. She kind of smirks a little bit, looks down at him. Well, if you want to ride double, and she kind of pats the behind of the Lamount. You're welcome to try. Thane, way too much. Uh, <laughs> not humble enough to ride bitch on the mount. He's like, no, it's it's okay. But thank you. Mm. That's what I you thought. You go ahead and take her up on that offer. You gotta preserve your strength, buddy. And you pat Newt on the shoulder. She looks so wet, Newt. I, I don't know <laughs> about that. My mount is, uh, may not be built for such a load. Well, yes, yes. Uh, I have been known to break the backs of many a horse. Is that a horse? Well, what of kind course. of a beast is that? <laughs> not a horse. I don't know exactly what that is. It's a thanic. 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 You know, it is strange. We were sent here to get blessed. But instead we seem to be cursed, and I'm not so sure if this temple was really all it was meant to be. Looks up at the sky, and then she looks back at Newt, and she says, you know, it's a dangerous thing to ask for blessings from those who are above us because those blessings can take the farm of things we did not anticipate if you wish to become stronger you have to uh, often undergo challenges if you wish to gain riches or renown then you have to face and overcome those things, it will bring it. If you've been praying for either of those, well, perhaps this is just what you've been praying for. And don't blame the god, I mean, the god emperor for giving you just what you asked for. Oh, I do not blame the god emperor. I blame the archbishop. He spoke <laughs> unendingly. <laughs> Maybe he well, was not the Archbishop, and that's why there is a battle happening at the temple. Maybe I've been blessed by a Xenos cultist. Don't speak such heretical words, friends. If anything, I would say our friend Claudia here thinks we're the angel we've been her, <laughs> the angel we've been praying for. She looks at you and scoffs. You don't look much like angels to me, but, uh, I'll use what I've got. Don't look a gift. Well, what did you call it? A don't heart look. in the mouth. Mm, don't yes, look I... a gift, Thanix, in the mouth. Well spoken. Ex well, that would be mouths, but yes. Eventually, you begin to come up a small hill. Up the back side of this hill, uh, Claudia, you know on the other side that they're, um, where, where they're camped, where you had hidden the uh, ship originally. Um, so that's kind of where they've been gathered uh, around this ship, and they often um, 
fly in on other ships as well. Um, so you're not sure how many are there currently or um, what the situation is with the void ships and all that stuff. So the best way to figure this out is to get a better view of the camp um, from this hill. However, you're fairly sure that um, they have begun keeping an eye on it as this is what you did the first time uh, when you attacked um, a month ago. Um, so uh, you, someone would have to sneak up there to get a look, you think. Yeah. She kind of pauses and halts everyone uh, before they reach this little lookout. And she says, um, they know that uh, this is where we came before when we just well, we had a bit of an unfruitful encounter. I'm sure they're keeping an eye on it. And she kind of looks left and right and up through the treetops. They've got some little ships that they bring back to this area to continue to scavenge. She looks back at the three of you. I can try to creep up and get a look. Or if there's one of you that you think would do better. Claudia is definitely the best at moving silently. Like I will say that, but that might not that might not be good <laughs> enough for them, right? Because one of them need to see uh, to see what they're really dealing with. She she's gonna look at them and try to determine which of them she thinks. According, you know, they've been traveling through this woods. Which one has been the most quiet and silent? Uh, probably Jengus. The with the hat. This is Thane. Just says um. Infantry is not known for stealth, but I do have some Magnox if uh, someone wants to go find a defilade or some sort of position to scout the place out. She looks at the three of them and kind of blinks and looks at Magnus. Do you want to take his Magnox and accompany me? Yeah, I reckon I could do that. And he um, looks to Newt. Newt, do you mind? And he'll take his hat off and hand it to Newt. Not at all, not at all. And uh, uh, he'll take the hat from you and, you know, kind of hold it in one hand, protecting it. You're a gentleman, Newt. I appreciate you. And he'll walk over to Thane, if you would. And he'll out his hand for the Magnox. He reaches down onto his belt and whips out Magnox and hands it to him. And he goes, uh, try not to break them. That'd be appreciated. I promise I'll get them back to you in one piece. And if I don't, I owe you a new pair. <laughs> He'll walk up to Claudia. All right, I'll follow your lead. It's your show. She dismounts and uh, whispers into the ears of this creature and it kind of kneels onto the ground and settles. She looks back at the others and kind of gestures for them to dismount and stay. She looks at the device that Thane handed Ang uh, Jengus curiously but then looks away and um, seems unwilling to I mean, it's obvious she's unfamiliar with your technology, but seems too proud to spend too much time speculating. And she'll gesture to him, and she'll start to creep up through the underbrush, uh, gently um, pushing aside branches and stepping quietly onto twigs, um, showing a knowledge of the area that um, only a local would show. I will follow in her steps and I'll be trying if I see any, I'm going to trust her for the path, but if I see anything or anybody with my, um, my special eyes, my dark sight, mm -hmm. I'll clue her in. Yeah. Uh, um, so go ahead and give both of you, give me a um, uh, Claudia, you have moved silently, uh, so if you just click on your um, your character sheet and under skills, um, 
under that tab you at the very bottom under it's a okay. it's a specialization of stuff uh -huh. if you click that uh, it'll bring up a dialog box and it'll ask you the mm -hmm. difficulty so give me and you want to do routine and uh, jengus you can routine. do stealth routine as well and then it should okay. just roll it oh boy Ugh. Would you, you like know, to you spend a, that. would you like to spend a fate point to re-roll? Yes. Okay, we can do that. That's a good roll. I'm good. That's not a good roll. Oh no. Um, oh boy. <laughs> okay. So uh, you guys both head up to the top of this ridge. Um and uh you kind of you get you get up there and jengus you can look over um claudia is not as silent as you kind of thought she would be she steps on a couple branches they snap um but uh, you do get a good look at what you can look through the um the the mag um and uh you see these you see that there are two um there are two ships one looks very picked over as claudia had uh, described and the other looks like it is it is uh in fine shape um it's not particularly anything special um but there's a few people milling around you see um uh a, about five or six guys and then you see a giant murder servitor that's what you think it is it has a eviscerator as an arm oh, shit. <laughs> okay um, so Jengus sees that, and he's like looking at the thug. I'm looking at the thugs. It's okay, the standard voiceman sort of spell here. And he looks at the servitor. Ah, and he puts the mags, that mag knocks down. Kind of Claudia knocks. has seemed very nervous this whole time, which maybe contributed to her um, clumsiness through the underbrush, and she kind of looks over at you looking through these unfamiliar kind of goggle things and she says what do you see well a couple of the fellas are just voidsmen they're standard they're generally tough hombres but nothing too bad but that big fella with the arm that's what we call a murder servitor damn things don't feel no pain and all they know how to do is kill all they're built to do He's going to be a tough son of a bitch. And he go ahead and offers her the magnoculars. If you want to take a look. She smiles a little bit and takes them. Adjusts them over her natural eye and the cyber eye. Looks, she kind of gasps as things come into focus. Yes. He killed James. Sliced him in two. Is it a man? And she hands back the... binocular type objects. He'll take them and he'll... No, they're... They're made of metal and wires most of the time. They got some flesh to them, but... They usually just follow real simple things for that oh, that fella right there is just killing garden they're real dangerous sons of guns sorry about your friend by the way is he james a good friend of yours or? she shrugs a little bit it's not something to talk about right now he is i did know him well from childhood but more importantly, do you think that we have a chance against them? Tell me true. Do your men have the skills required for this? He kind of goes back and forth and he thinks about it. Well, to tell you the truth, I ain't seen Thane fight but I hear lots of good things. Nude, I know for sure, is a tough son of a bitch. I've seen him kill as bad as that down there. I'm a fair shot. And Jengus looks around. Do I see, like, 
is there anything standing out to me about like if this turned into a battleground if there's like it would cover somewhere oh there's there's, there's tons of trees um okay. there's tons of trees um it's kind of like a if you think of the encampment kind of like a circle almost um yeah. with the you know where they're staying in the middle and the it's it's big um because there's two lighters parked there um but yeah um it, it, it's uh, there's tons of trees everywhere and then um with the murder servitor as well as i can tell does it seem like it has any um any ranged weaponry on it it does not have any ranged like weaponry that you okay. can see it just has a viscerator arm and all the other guys some of they got standard shit as yeah they as, like, got like you know standard, your standard gear. yeah just guns and yeah okay yeah so jangus is thinking about it he he's coming up with something and he all right i think we got it if we can get that big fella down we got a pretty good damn shot because the rest of them fellas old hat standard to deal with but i say we go back to the others I'll let him know what we saw. Figure out a, some kind of game plan to sort this out. Try to take down the big one real quick, maybe, or get him away from the others. She looks at you. You know, it, it's obvious that she's appraising you for trustworthiness, basically. Can she believe what you're saying? Um, but after a moment, she nods and says, I will be honest, I am not entirely understanding the challenges we face. And so, I would put the planning of this to you three, but I will go with you. And she kind of reaches down to the stub pistol. Torn, he showed me how to use this. And I am the sheriff, like my father before me and his father before him. It's my duty to make this land safe for the people who have lived here for generations and these outsiders are a blight upon it. I will do what I can. Just tell me what will best help? Well, you're gonna have one hell of a story to tell. I think we can take him down. Let's head back to the others and get this sorted out. She nods and kind of starts backing up through the underbrush. You head back down with no, um, nothing happens. Um, they're all uh, sitting there waiting for you. Yeah, so Jangus will relay everything he saw. Um, and after that, I'll go ahead and I'll... So, Thane, uh, I've been through a few scraps, but a lot of it was real clandestine, low-key, you know. I have an idea you have in combat experience I run, a, run run it by you and if you can if you got other ideas or you think you can optimize it make it better we got to try to take this thing down and go ahead and relay things and as he relays things he kind of asks questions he learns that the combat server only has a, a melee weapon what were the weapons of the the smugglers? Uh, the yeah, like let's see. Numbers? It was uh, just a uh, stub revolver, stub pistol, auto gun, um, that sort of stuff. Shock maul, one of them has. Yeah, okay. Well, I uh, I imagine uh, most of my fighting's been done in urban environments and space hulks but uh the principles are the same taking cover the element of surprise fatal funnels uh not allowing the enemy to return fire or concentrate fire uh, he kind of pats his hell gun i'm i'm more inclined to engage it ranged uh and he kind of looks at newt we all know what he's best at and jangus i prefer you like some sort of middle ground 
Oh yeah, he pats. He's got a couple of pistols. Pats. My, my thought thing is the murder servitors, the the big linchpin they got. That thing goes down. The rest of these fellas shouldn't be too big of a deal. I mean, you gotta respect them because they got guns. Guns can kill just as well as anything else. But if we get that big son of a bitch down, they're acing the holes gone, and we got Newt. So. I mean, my thought is we open up on the murder server tour. That big son of a bitch has to come at us. We got a lot of uh, close quarters weaponry tied up here, it seemed like. And fuck, we got cavalry as well. So, brought him up. Maybe, maybe Claudia and her boys can try to sweep in, get in close along with Newt. We can try to just take this damn thing down while it comes running up at us, split him up. Getting close, one of them says. That's suicide. Yeah, but not on that thing. We're saying we're drawing the servitor to us, and you get in on those other fellas. Here, how's this sound? I'm a decent shot. How about I try and take out that uh, eviscerator that he's got on him? That'll be the signal to begin the attack. Should be heading towards us. I'll do my best to disable that weapon. Making it a little bit easier for you guys to take it out. Then I'll shift my fire to uh, his underlings, taking them out so they don't get shots on you while you move in to uh, eliminate the servitor. So focus fire, that is what you are saying. Well, I reckon uh, the more you can kite that servitor around that either has a semi-functional or non-functional melee weapon... Take out the people that can shoot back, and then focus your fire on him once uh, the others have been eliminated. If you can't, get him to chase you, and keep a good distance between him and you, then we can shift back to him. Yeah. If we keep him separated from the others, they're weak for it. They're just, they're just normal folks with guns. Dangerous, but ain't nowhere near as dangerous as that big bastard. We can get him pulled away. Hell, if we can get Newt in with all those guys down there, Newt will tear them apart. We just gotta try to get that murder server door. And he looks at Newt. I look at Newt. Much as I would like to see you fight that big bastard, I don't know how you'd fare, big fella. Murder server tours are tough bastards. The God Emperor protects. But you are much more wiser than me, Jankus. Tell me where to go. And who to destroy, and I shall do that. I'm not going to pretend to know what we're fighting up against, but if I had to presume, and I hate doing so, but um, these smugglers are going to sit back and let the servitor do the heavy lifting. So if we can draw that away, the other ones might be a little bit easier to deal with. And maybe I walk into the camp from the back. If you can draw the murder servitor to the front, whatever is protecting him, I can engage them, destroy them one by one. If the murder servitor turns on me, then so be it. We shall see who is stronger. Claudia smiles slowly, looking at Newt, looking him up and down. I somehow suspect that these men did not suspect that some such as you would come here to help, and she then grins widely. They, uh, at their hearts, are cowards. And if you can take out this murder servitor, and she looks at Newt, I have no doubt they will flee like the cowards they have shown themselves to be. And then she looks at her men. Focus fire on the murder, on the, on the man, on the giant. And then on anyone who fires back at you. Keep yourselves safe if at all possible. If you are injured to the point where you cannot fight, then mount your... and head back to the village. 
And she says, don't mind me. And she will look at the others. I will stay until these smugglers are gone, until these off wilders are burnt from our the surface of our planet. Your guardsmen nod. Of course, we will fight. So, how about Newt, me and you, since I gotta be a little bit close, that's his pistols. We'll try to get around the back. Maybe Thane, you, Claudia, and Claudia's guards over here take up a nice firing position and just rain hell down on them. We can get up in their business. Just try to create mass confusion, take down that servitor, take the camp. I'll be honest, I don't have your armor, but she reaches down and pats the sword at her side. I am more familiar with this than with the gun that was given to me by Torn. Your, would your men be alright working alongside Thane? Or? They will do as they have been ordered. Yeah, they have like long, very narrow guns. Um, you're you're unfamiliar with them. They're so old. They can form a firing line with me if they want. You guys can approach from the left or right. Get them in somewhat of a crossfire. Do as much damage as possible. He kind of looks to the two uh, soldiers of Claudia's. You guys good with those at uh, range? Pretty good. They're not very accurate, though. And, uh, you kind of... Th these are, uh, arbucuses. You have to... And they're slow compared to what we've seen Claudia do with her weapon. We have to pack them full of powder and then put in the... the ball and then set the... And he goes on and on about firing an arbucus. We'll prep your first shot. Hmm. They nod. They also have swords. Um, I was just going to say they had swords too. Yeah, they, they have swords, didn't... yeah. Worst case scenario, you get off one or two shots, and if anything gets close enough to you, that's when you switch the sword. Or, don't be immobile. Fire. Give me one good shot, get on your mounts, and either charge or try and flank. They nod. We're not soldiers, but we will fight for our home. That's all I can ask. Alright, so give me a kind of out of combat, out of uh, character kind of uh, plan of what you want to do here so I can set your tokens up where they should be and, and whatnot. Claudia is going to do as. They think she's trusting to their expertise on this mm. superior tech. I imagine basically something is uh, Thane will get into a defilade or a cover of some kind at range, um, you know, long range if possible, as long range as possible. Mm -hmm. And along with the two Starfall guards, and I imagine they'll just get one shot off or so, aim fire, and then they can get on their mounts and go if it truly is a. You know, slow reload time on their weapons and I imagine for what it sounds like Newt and Claudia and um, Jangus will sneak up as best they can and engage at a, a shorter range yeah that's my thought is if, if it were if, if unless anyone has any other ideas I think Thane and the guards do a, at least a firing line at the beginning and then the, the three of us with a closer range weaponry try to get as close as we can mm -hmm. and just try to cause chaos run amok hopefully the murder servitor goes down pretty quickly I, it's not gonna we all know that but we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna give it a good we're gonna give it a good college <laughs> try for that first couple of rounds and pray that newt put on his his good pants today <laughs> he's got his brown pants on he's, he's got, got his brown, brown pants. pants on no no the red pants on yeah. <laughs> oh no. For the bloody shits. 
Yep. When you get stabbed up the asshole. <laughs> All right, let's take. Uh, uh, for nothing. Yeah, let's take uh, five minutes or so, and then uh, get on with it. The eviscerator. Yeah, so I'm gonna be extreme range. I can do the the aim action. Yeah, the pr the problem is is there's you can't get too far because then you can't hit anything because the the open the the camp is only so big, right? And then after that, it's just woods. So if you're behind yeah. all the woods, you can't hit anything, right? So yeah, send my guards up ahead. Yeah, send it, send up, anyway. send up the red shirts. <laughs> send in the They're red shirts. Very important <laughs> NPCs in there. Send those, send those two guys. Send, send those really importantly named people in. Starfield Guard One, and Starfield Guard Two. Everybody their their pensions Starfall have got ha, are way too high. I do not want to pay that out. Yeah, this yeah, whole time you're like, I thought his name was Juan. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What was the guy you sent back, James? No, James yeah. wasn't died. It was, um... Yeah. Uh, William? Was it William? I don't remember. Yeah, I think it was James. No, James died. No, James, James definitely died. died. Oh, yeah, James James, oh, yeah, James died. Me. It'll be, uh, Billy. Like, Matthew. From Predator. Matthew. 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 There you Matthew. Yeah. 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 Matt, Matt, Matthew's sitting back at the city like, man, this is, uh... This is living easy. I'm the new sheriff there. now. Yeah. How he's those guys he's are doing a junior it. patrolman. His pension has not earned anything yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. he, he only got I'm one bullet. Invested. He's like Barney Fight. He's 12. He's 12. That's yeah, he's, 12. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's my little brother. <laughs> Get out of here, you pussy. Coming of age tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, the two guys are just like, you know, killing armsmen, hanging out. Man, They were yeah, like they... assholes in high school. Do what, do with them <laughs> like you will. This whole time, Claudia has actually been like the uh, what is it, the Army of Light or whatever in uh, Nigeria, where it's all the child soldiers, like Tony. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I've got my army of child soldiers. Oh yeah, it's 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 Warhammer 40k. We I've all conquered know. four kingdoms. <laughs> yeah, she she has a child army in the name of the God Emperor, <laughs> reading him books about you know foxes and mice. She gives a Funny. shit about 25. the God Emperor. She just likes it, you know sitting back on her divan, getting fed peeled grapes. Claudia <laughs> <laughs> is ten years older than the next oldest soldier in her army. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't seem like anybody went anywhere anyway. So. I'm gonna grab a quick water. Yeah. No, I was just oh, thinking about my next murder service. <laughs> I was just thinking about my next guy at the concert. That's why. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Newt's Newt's beaten worse than this. He almost died Rope in the prelude, though. Rope yeah. traders <laughs> are tougher than murder service. Not that orders. one. Heck, not the one he killed, but technically they are. Well. It could from be. Mechanical from a mechanical standpoint. Well, no, if the guy can't even pull out powerful. his weapon before he's de-headed, de right? Beheaded, so... Yeah. Money's always the, the greatest yeah, superpower. Yeah, certainly. The, the, pro the, thing, the thing was, that rogue trader got beheaded at a banquet hall, so he it wasn't fully armed up. If we could get this murder servitor into a banquet hall... You know. <laughs> Banquet's <laughs> call, the, the banquet hall was, slash whorehouse. Maybe the murder <laughs> servitor would want to employ you yes. in his uh, his whorehouse, and then you could kill him. Yep. <laughs> wait, it was wait. funny because the rogue trader was fully right. armored. He just didn't have head armor. Yeah, right. Yeah, and then <laughs> and then you he had you eleven points twice, of armor. Right? So. <laughs> he had eleven points of armor everywhere except for his fucking head, mm -hmm. and you hit him in the head with a double right like fury. Yep. Ten, ten, and like a seven or something like that. Like twenty-seven points yeah. of unmitigated damage <clears throat> in a in a game that has like, you know, ten wounds, twelve wounds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bye. Like, holy yeah. shit! It was uh, it was crazy. But there's no righteous fury in this game, so. No, and these guys are hooping. Murder servitors are stupid good. Are they actual people? 
They're corpses. They were people. Just robots. They're, corpses. They're basically criminals and other people that are a freakish hybrid of what was once a human and a little shit ton of cybernetic and robotic implants. Yeah, they're kind of lobotomized. They're, they don't really Weapon, have... Weaponized a... lobotomites. Yeah. There is an organic component. Yeah, most yes. of them, yes. This is what they do instead of, like, robots, because robots are no-nos. AI is illegal. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All, same same um, premise as Dune, like, right? Ah, uh, gotcha. Computers are not illegal, but, well. Yeah, AI. 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 Everything AI. is controlled by a human in some some way or an organic thing in some way. All right. They're not really computers. They're cogitators with the machine yes, spirit in there. Correct. No such thing as a computer. Um, all right. So um, this is the first time you're going to have superiority, and you have superiority because you saw the battlefield and you're able to plan. So I'm giving you one superiority um, currently. Um, I will track this through this combat uh, based on what happens, if it goes up or down, um, just so you know, since we haven't used it before. If superiority goes above their resolve, anyone's resolve, those people will potentially um, do something to disengage from the combat if, if possible. So that could be fleeing, that could be fighting even harder in some instances it just depends um but yeah it, it gives you an advantage so with one superiority you're going to have a plus one sl i don't know if it's is, does somebody want to just shoot real quick and um just see if it's auto auto um track i'll I give her a quick don't shot. know if it is um but it should give you, you want a plus one sl from my Equipment. Can you explain superiority to me real yeah, quick? Yeah, superiority is just um, – so there's a concept of uh, success levels. So levels of success are how you do a lot of things in this game, and it gives you just an extra one. So um, if you have su superiority, and superiority comes from um, – no, it doesn't look like that does anything. It did not. Okay, so, um, so superiority, you get it from things like um, planning before a battle – uh, knowing like secrets of your enemies, things like that. It also can come through killing major bosses, or uh, if you kill, I think if you kill, there, there's a there's a list of things. If you kill like four troop level enemies in one turn, I think your superiority goes up. And so each NPC has a stat called resolve, and resolve if resolve is ever lower than the superiority, they can break they route um gotcha so um it's it's a way to kind of shorten combats and uh to actually give people who typically have a mechanical disadvantage um an advantage uh, because players are not very powerful in this game uh or characters pcs so um it, it helps um so yeah, so the first thing we're going to do, so keep that in mind. So anytime you roll your attacks, obviously that dialog box is going to pop up. And just make sure you put one SL in there. If, if, if you don't do it, that's fine. We'll figure it out. Okay. Um, but that, that will help do it automatically. And there's some kind of some tricks to targeting and stuff and, and foundry and in the system that we'll work through. Um, okay. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to throw you all on the initiative tracker real quick. So let me do that. Should do that. Okay, so everybody should. All right, cool. So, um, slip for you since you've not done this before. It's the second tab over with the crossing swords. Uh, I'm gonna click. Uh, actually, let me see. Do I need to do? Okay, so I'm gonna. I'm just gonna roll initiative for everybody since it's not a real roll anyway. It's just. Sure. It is what it is in in this game because it's it's just uh, your um, uh, what is that? Uh, reflexes plus your characteristic um or something like that um so smuggler is going to go first um he doesn't let me turn on some music um, do they detect us yeah that's that's a question that's before so before we do that why don't everybody give me um a let me think about this for a second 
Is that just the people getting closer, or does that include me and my red shirts? You know, actually, uh, yeah, give me a, yeah, everybody. Um, so, everybody give me a hard stealth check. So, when you roll it, it's gonna, um, it's gonna ask for, um, let me see if it's hard. Um, it be hard. <laughs> it's difficult, difficult, so, yeah, let's do difficult. Difficult. Yeah, so that's only minus 10. So stealth or move silently, whichever you have, that's a fail. Man, you're just not really good at that today. Um, I know, I'm rolling so high. Gotta be the nerves. Pua! Got two left feet. What is, uh... It's like under skills, skills, right, so... Yeah. Um, fate oh my gosh, we're all fate so fate loud. You can re-roll. Fate add plus one. Oh, after it's rolled. Okay. If you spend a fate, you can re-roll. Yeah. Yeah. It might be worth it for me because I go first out of the group. No, I, um, I and you can put yourself easy, anywhere quiet. adjacent to uh, Newt or Genghis you want. So if you want to be close, you can. Difficult. But it's going to be difficult. So just remember, you're trying to roll under. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's, that's okay. <laughs> okay. So we, we'll just go as it is. So um, you guys are getting closer, and you get set up, and um, you hear one of the guy goes, "Ah, there they are! Fire!" And they were uh, prepared. Um, someone had spotted uh, Claudia up on the overlook, and they uh, assumed you were coming. Um, I, I will, uh, if you give me an awareness, Claudia, this is, or, yeah, Claudia or Jenga, since you're up there, you just give me a, a, an awareness roll, um, just kind of, it's not gonna, I'll tell you what it means if you pass, but. Challenging? No, yeah, challenging, normal, yeah. Alright, do, do my, uh, do my darkness eyes help me? No, no, I would not on this, uh, gotcha. Alright, I rolled it. Yeah, so, Claudia, you, you realize that not all of them are here um there's two that are gone that you had seen earlier so make all right she, she whispers to that to them that the two of the smugglers are not visible i don't see two of them i'll go over my vlog speed and tell fane you might be creeping around out here careful two more not accounted for Okay, let's get Understood. six meters away. Um, One of them has yellow pants, and they are always stained brown. <laughs> She's looking around. I do not see him. <laughs> Smuggler is going to shoot at uh, Starfell Guard 1. He's six meters. Let me see what that is. It's hard to get the correct distance for what would be ideal for you guys, but... Um, just because of the limited space in the camp. So, you will smell him coming before you see him. <laughs> so I'm going to show this to you guys. Uh, you can um, reference it uh, whenever you need to. There's some optional rules here. This is because uh, this game typically uses zones, but I don't like zones, so we're not doing that, right? So we all know that. Zones are stupid. Yeah, I don't like zones. So uh, you're at, uh, so six is uh, short, um, six squares. Um, I think that's what he was. Let me, let me verify that. To that guy. It says six meters, six. Oh, hold on. The map is wrong. Let me fix that. Grid. Um, grid scale is two meters. Okay, there we go. All right, now let me, so he should be 12 away. Yeah, 12. So he's, um, I think it's short. <sighs> Meters 12 is short, and he has a stub revolver, which is close. So, which is closest. Yeah, okay. So he, What's close range So like? close is actually worse. Um... So, uh, he would be, he would take, uh, is it, it's disadvantage when you're too far, I think. Um, what is close range? Uh, close range is, uh, optional rules, meters six, and range, squares, it's six meters, three squares. Three squares, yep. okay. Um, 
So yeah, he's uh, he's gonna shoot at disadvantage at star four. Actually, since let me let me he actually would shoot at Thane then. Ten. That's still out of range. So disadvantage for the the closest person, which is Thane. I'm also in cover. Yeah. So is that that's... another disadvantage? Well, I don't know how you would do double disadvantage, but um, cover. Mm -hmm. Make it a harder test, maybe. Because cover just gives you. I think cover just gives you bonuses to your AP, right? I'll tell you in a minute. I think it does just give plus you... plus two. Okay, so what I had, what type of cover? I do would I have? say like the light, medium probably cover heavy. light. That provides two, two armor. armor against okay. range attacks. All right, perfect. So, so he uh, has disadvantage, so he's gonna target you. So to target, I have my guy selected. I hover over the the guy I'm gonna shoot. I hit T. You should see this little bracket around it. And then you click on your weapon of choice. Uh, he's going to shoot his stub revolver, which is close range. Uh, it's asking me what everything is. Um, it's challenging still. Uh, I'm going to click the disadvantage radial and shoot. And he misses. Um, so you do not need to use your reaction to dodge. I'm guessing you don't want to. So uh, he shoots. It flies over your head. And he misses. Uh, and then, uh, who is that? Jengus is up, I believe. Oh, I gotta begin combat. There you go. Okay. Jengus, you're up. So I will... Let's see. I'll do my move. Okay. So movement up to speed. Yeah. So I think I have normal, so I can move four, I think. Uh, what's your speed? Huh? Your speed is, but hold on, you have fast movement, right? So you, I, I can do fast movement, but that'd be a uh, disadvantage, I think, on my next. Uh, no, because that's just your normal. Yeah. That's just your normal movement, right? You, because you're faster than normal, because you're a mutant. So I, your speed uh... is actually um. I don't think there's a way to like set it in here on your character sheet, but your speed is actually you move you move at uh, fast range, so six squares, twelve meters. Okay, so it's and then that's without disadvantage on my yeah yeah step. yeah that has nothing to do with okay. that yeah that's just your normal cool. movement. Gotcha. All right, I, just, I want to make sure that we hadn't set it on that. Good to go. Um, for a while ago. Uh, yeah, that's fast movement. So I can do, I can do six. Squares. Holy shit! Okay. Yeah, you can move. Uh, get too close. So I will get to here in this group of trees. Mm-hmm. Um, tactical movement, take cover, and behind some trees, and I will. My, I click on my token, and then it's a, what was the, what do I press on? Uh, Where hover over here, you're going to shoot and hit T. T, alright, there we go. And this guy right here, um. Yep, yep. I see you. Take a shot at him with my. Stuff. So long as you're in range, you can figure that out. I am. Uh, marginal success, success he will use oh let me pull up my um this thing so he's going to use his reaction um and then he will try to dodge so i don't know if that factored in my master crafted on the pistol no how many ss you, you get you're gonna have to add that Manually, what I, I I'll do it manually. That's fine. On. So it should be one for master crafted, one from the laser side, okay. and then superiority. He's so that's good. three. Yeah, three. So he, he's going to do his reflexes. <laughs> he does. Holy uh, fuck! Oh, does. Uh, yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, you shoot, and he just kind of ducks down. Uh, below this kind of rock here 
And it just like misses, flies overhead. Unfortunately. Damn. Genghis wonders if I, I wonder if I underestimated these guys at Dread Sea. That's like that motherfucker was fast. He's like looking at his gun. Alright, it's all the thugs' turns. I'll start with the one that you just shot, which is uh, Thug 4, who has used his reaction already. Uh, but he's going to shoot you with his auto gun. Um, so I'm going to do that. And then he's going to let a burst out. Um, burst fire. Rapid fire. Um, can he do burst and rapid fire at the same time? What's the difference? What's he have? Auto He's gun? Auto gun. Yeah. Can't remember. It's been a minute. Uh, 125. They're all 125. So. Rapid fire. Oh, spread, or you may gain the advantage. Um, well, he's not going to do that, so he'll do advantage. And then... Let's see the other one. The other one is burst. What's the difference? Burst is... Auto gun doesn't have burst, does it? Uh, this one says it does, but... Auto... Okay, sorry, my PDF says auto gun rapid fire 3. No, he's, he has rapid fire 3. Yeah, he does. It doesn't have burst. I don't know why it's giving me that option. Okay, not sure. All right, so he's shooting at the vantage. So this is gonna shoot three, three. Uh, that's what it does, right? When it says three, rapid fire three, it shoots three bullets. Is that right? Oh, it's just how much, yeah, ammo he yeah, spends. Okay. Yep, that's yep. All right. Thirty-one. You can use your reaction to dodge. I would like to right. do that. Yeah, I missed. So how does that look? Is he? I see him come up with the the auto gun, to... and uh, I've seen these before. They shred people. So Jangus really hugs down into that group of trees and branches that fly everywhere. He just kind of keeps his hand on his hat, keeps his head down, looking around, waiting for other gunfire. Yeah, uh, this this uh, one by the smuggler is going to do, he's going to shoot Thane again with uh, auto fire spread um, to try to hit the guy next to him. Um, so, yeah, I don't think, uh... yeah, so he wouldn't get the advantage, so let's do that. Cover. So it does do rapid fire, but it's just going to do normal because he's doing spread. <sighs> would you like? Oh my God. Would you like to dodge? <laughs> That's insane. What's going on with these hot hands tonight, Ted? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Rolling rocks. Thane. Gotta go play crap. Thane. Um. I'm thinking, yeah, sorry. Yeah, fine. Yeah, I'm... Four plus whatever. Right. What's four plus whatever? The success level? Yeah, well, his success level is four. And then whatever uh, whatever auto gun is, which is six. Yeah, so it's, it's ten. Good. It's ten. Yeah, I'll dodge. What, am I, what do I got to beat a four? Or I just got to reduce the success level? Uh, yeah, whichever. Yeah, we'll give her a try. We'll try and dodge. What did we get advantage for plus successful superiority? What was it again? Superiority gives you plus one SL on your attacks. Um, so it's four. So how do I do this? Um, hold on. So he hit you for four. Isn't there a way to... Uh... Uh, sorry, I'm trying to rem Oh, 10 damage. Yeah, there it is. 10 damage. That's right. Uh, 10 damage. Uh, 
what's your armor on your leg? Uh, it's four, then plus yep. two for being in cover, so six. Yep. So you take four damage, four wounds for you. I'll add it. And you use your reaction. All right, that guy's done. Uh, the other guys um, don't have real good shots anywhere. This guy's going to move down, down, down. Uh, okay, let's see. Is that for a second? One, two, three. We'll step down here. He's gonna shoot at Newt. He's a pretty. I mean, Newt's got cover as well. I'll say. Um, so here we go, Newt. Uh, auto gun. He's just gonna do rapid fire, but with advantage. So here we go. Done. Don't need to worry about that. He misses. Uh, and the last guy moves one, two, three, four. He moves four. He'll shoot at Starfall Guard one. He is how far away? This is a uh, uh, long range, so he's fine. Let it let it go with spread. It's gonna shoot spread here. That other guy shot with spread too, didn't he? When he hit you, I think. I'll just I'll just ignore it for now. Hold on, I gotta take care of this too. Um, okay, so he's doing spread this time though. I will uh, I will track it. Uh, rapid fire normal. That's a miss. Okay, that guy missed. So yeah, there's just this like cacophony of as these guys just let go. Um, Claudia, you're up as they are just shooting everywhere. How far can I move? Uh, you can What's move. Uh, you can move. I think uh, four. Let's see your speed. Yeah, your normal speed. So you can move four. You can move four as a normal move, and then. You can move again with a run, uh, but that's an action, okay. so you wouldn't get to attack yeah. afterwards. So, so this is the guy that Jengis attacked, right? Yes. Okay, so she is going to attack him. She moved her four, and I'll shoot my... Your gun? Yeah, let, my let, pistol. Let me, uh, let me make sure they're in the right hand, because handedness matters. Um, so let me... I put your... Okay. I put your... Why does it say red there? There you go. So your hand cannon should be in the correct uh, the correct hand now, so you can shoot. Otherwise, it'll give you a disadvantage. Okay. <laughs> and I put that at what difficulty? Uh, just uh, normal difficulty. There's no... Yeah, challenging. You don't you don't have to update that. Challenging. Yeah, just whatever okay, it is. Gotcha. You should be pretty much just good to go. Oh, that's a miss. Yeah, you just shoot and has it look as you just blow by the guy missing. Alright. Um you could spin looking fate, over but... at Jang, I guess as he's moving, she remembers that she's just gonna focus fire and Following their lead, she moves forward into cover, kneels down by a tree, and fires at the same combatant that Jengus did, but um, sweat is kind of pouring down her face. She's obviously a little nervous um, about facing these off-worlders. Yeah, plus that gun is not your primary weapon, really. Yeah, um, it takes her a minute. She's kind of fumbling even as she uh, aims at him and fires uh, almost wincing as she does so and it goes a little wide over his shoulder Okay, Newt you're up alright uh, gonna move here and let's see where's that um, SL is one. 
the Pugacello's one. Yeah, plus one. Oh, you guys have been not doing that, I don't think. Uh, Claudia missed by four, though, so that doesn't matter. Uh, so it says superiority one in my sheet, so I'm assuming it still doesn't get counted, right? I need to put SL as yeah, one. Yeah, it's it's not auto yeah. auto applying. I see. It. Okay. Yeah. okay. Pain would take one less damage. I don't think I don't no, think SL PSL, I don't think superiority is for defensive roles. Oh, I don't okay, think fair so. Enough, Let me, fair. I'll look while you do this. That's a miss. Uh, so he has to actually defend. It's melee. I forgot that. Um, so he's going to dodge. Um, reflexes. Okay. Oh, side note. Any gun with rapid fire is treated as having the burst trait, but not vice versa. Okay. And you can't use... Oh, you cannot combine both. Okay. So they do have the burst trait. Okay. Well, he dodges. So as it look as Newt swings up on him and he just sidesteps. Yeah, Newt just walks up and, you know, swings his sword and kind of this guy just you know, sidesteps all the way. I, I do want to see this for superiority and make sure that um, it's just offensive because I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, let me see. <laughs> One test of your choice each turn. Okay. Turn. So um, that's one. One. Hold on. You can use superiority to gain an SL bonus to one test of your choice each turn. So for as long as you have superiority, you can choose a test to get a plus yeah. one SL. Of your choice each turn. I still don't understand that because you only make one attack. You can only make one thing per turn. You might do a reaction, but it wouldn't be you on think. your turn. I don't know. Technically, that would go. I guess it would go on the turn that is passing. I don't know. I just, I guess, I'm just gonna say it's on everything because that's kind of, kind of what it is. The start of your next you, turn. Kind of like you Once it. you have yeah. used this bonus on a test, you can't use it again until the start of your next turn. So, I think you just, I think what it means is you get once per round. Yeah, that's what it sounds. Yeah, like Yeah, it's to not me. written that way, but I think that's what it means. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so we'll start doing that. Um, okay. Where were we? Sorry. M new mist, right? Okay. Yep, it is It's turn. As all plans last less than the first minute of contact, and they didn't get the drop on them, <laughs> Stain is going to adjust. Um, who has an auto gun? All the thugs. All thugs have yeah, auto the, guns. The smuggler has a stub revolver pistol so he is going to uh fire on thug two he's gonna burst him and so what do we what am i adding you add one um, sl just for just for superiority so i need to change it to two in my sheet because yeah. it's already at no one. no don't change the superiority just ch change the sl when you when you um attack so when you click the weapon yeah, the box comes yeah. up, so just make sure there's another one. In yeah, there. if there's if there's not one, yeah, just one more addition than needs. Yes. Be. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Uh, oh I'm gonna spend a fate for like that. Okay. The dice gods are not with us. <laughs> I hope it doesn't continue being bad, put it that way. Hey, look Let's try it again. That's another round of auto guns is not good. And there you oh, go. that's beautiful. Okay, well there this we guy go. gets to he gets to react. He hasn't done one yet, so he gets a reaction. Um, so he's gonna he's gonna try to dodge. Let's go skills and reflexes. 
Um, so he takes 14 damage. That's not counting any armor or anything. Uh, he has, okay, let me do the math of any here. What's his armor? Two. So, I have penetrating two. Oh, that kills him then. How does it look as you melt him? So, uh, being annoyed by getting sprayed, he returns fire in kind with his much more powerful and exotic hell gun and just ruby red dart shoots through the air, just peppering this guy and he kind of falls backwards, smoking craters in his body from the, the hell gun. Mm -hmm. That one's dead. Um, that's a troop. So, the Starfell Guard... Uh, they have a uh, they have a trait. Uh, give a Starfield guard advantage on their next attack roll if adjacent to another Starfield guard. So he is. Um, so they're going to shoot at the smuggler since it's 12 meters away, and this is a medium range gun that should be fine. So we'll shoot him. Try to do this real quick. Uh, one SL. They have superiority. They have advantage. Uh, he has not made a reaction, so he will to dodge. Oh, wrong guy. Sorry, uh, this guy. He is going to dodge skill reflexes. Uh, okay. So he does hit. It's um, kind of weird. Plus one, minus three, so plus four. Uh, and um, you don't add SL, right? So yeah, of the difference, you don't add SL. So plus yeah. one. So that's three damage. Uh, hit him in the body. Uh, what's his armor? Hold on, it says eight. I don't believe it. Uh, that would give him light power armor. Yeah, I don't believe it. <laughs> smugglers. Are... What kind of fucking smugglers do we got here? Fucking was, murder is that the guy you were talking oh, about? The oh, big armor the guy, guy? These guys have, um... These guys have what you call it. Um, they have one of those, um... Refractor shields. So... Oh, what the fuck? 1d10. Plus one. Is what his armor is. It is eight. So yeah, it Holy it shit. hits, and it just you see this go over over him, and it just this ball just fall falls to the ground. Um, the other one's gonna shoot as well. Uh, same same deal here. Um, so this one targets him, and he's going to shoot with his black powder weapon advantage. And here we go. He doesn't have another. That's a miss. So that misses. He, and these things make just gigantic booming sounds as they shoot. Probably even hurt your ear, um, Thane, as they're shot. Um, and now, now is where the fun begins. Um, the moment we've all been waiting for. Yeah, it. speed's normal. Let's see here. Let me let me see. game slip this thing just clung 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 towards you slip um toward <laughs> claudia uh, let me make sure i just want to make sure because he has size right so yeah that just shows okay no and uh it's just eviscerator arm comes up and it goes and it comes down with a, a massive chop um she looks up at it in horror <laughs> Let me make sure it doesn't have any traits that are... You are immune to bleeding, deafened, fatigued, frightened, poisoned, and stunned. Okay, yeah. Um... There we go. He basically doesn't care about anything other than killing us. Okay. Ooh. 
So that's oh. that's a two. So you can go ahead. So you can parry with your weapon, uh, or you can dodge. So um, dodging would come out of reflexes if you had. So you have a forty-eight in dodge, and then you have a. I'm gonna a, dodge. Yeah, and then you have a thirty-eight I... in melee, so you want to dodge. Yeah. Okay, so I'm looking at. Do I go to skills? Yeah, go to skills, and then just uh, and... click dodge. Yeah. Dodge, yeah. And you have superiority, so I don't think you used it. So go ahead, nope. go ahead and give yourself one SL. How do I so do that? So when you click, when you click dodge, it, there'll be uh -huh. something that says SL. Just put a one in there. Okay, gotcha. For superiority. Yeah. Oh my god. It misses. Well so done. It goes oh. and it comes over your head and instead of hitting you, you duck down and it cuts the tree in half behind you and it just kind of tips yeah. over. Yeah, she sees this thing coming at her and she's looking up at it 10 feet above her, you know, 10 feet tall. Or sees this chainsaw arm coming down at her and she looks over at her men grits her teeth and she gives it the finger as she um says not today and then uh dodges around it as it slashes at the tree in front of her and uh tree falls and she prepares herself to strike at it What does burst do? I, I almost forgot. Oh, just plus one SL. Burst so, adds plus one SL. Sorry. Yeah, because these guys with the long, the auto guns are, they can't do it again. Uh, anyway, so Smuggler uh, is out of range. He doesn't like being out of range, so, but he doesn't want to be any closer to you as you just melted the face of the guy next to him. So he's actually going to move one, two, three, four over here by the servitor. He doesn't really have a good shot. Uh, he's gonna he, he's gonna actually um, use his second action to what? There we go. What's this one? Equip his frag grenade. <laughs> Is that what I do? Uh, he's gonna dodge, so. So. Without a reaction. Oh, the guy's with reactions. I need to remove. Sorry, this is gonna take just a second. Yeah, he's gonna dodge. Jengis, uh, you're up. Yeah, J so Jengis sees that big murder servitor. I see it coming down the pipe swing at Claudia near miss. Claudia, get some distance, darling. Ain't looking good up there. And uh, Jengis is going to run out and take cover behind this this tent or whatever the hell this is. And he, I'm getting a frag grenade out as I'm moving. <laughs> One frag grenade, which I'm gonna say I stole from Vanso on the way that out. That is that 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 is uh, getting it out as an action. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. oh, I would shit. consider that reload or use an object or a feature. Mm. Well, let, let me let me let me let me let me look at that real quick. Um, what would that be wield or? Uh, a cowardly action next. Because uh, <laughs> that might not be right. I don't know. Let's see. Brody, a pull this as I go by. <laughs> <laughs> she reaches out. The grenade, out. the grenade. Pulls the pin. <laughs> uh -oh. I know I just met you, but help me pull this out. <laughs> Put this hand where you think it should go. Fucking hell. 
Because I know reload's here for bullets. Yeah. Um... Free actions. Oh, free action is drawing a weapon. Oh shit, brother! Yeah. I can't take cover. No, you that's can't take. Can't that's an action. I'm not actually. in cover. Yeah. Yeah. That well, it, it'd be free for me because tactical movement, but I have to use it for free gotcha. action. Do oh, you take multiple free actions or just one? Uh, you can get multiple. That's not. So I, I can tell. So I will free action pull the pull the frag grenade. Mm -hmm. I'll run across, and as I'm moving across, I'm gonna toss the frag grenade and try to get it right here. Okay. Um, what's the What's the radius of it? That's a good question. I think it's uh, I think it's right. four. So hold on. Um, oh, that might get cloudy. Yeah, the glass, you might not want to do that. Hold on. Right here would be where I do it then. Uh, I think I'd be, I think it'd be safe it's there. Whatever the what's the what are the qualities on it? Doesn't it have like an explosive quality or something? Uh, let me take a look. Oh, shit, I don't oh know. let's see. Frag grenade. It has. Uh, your weapon's not set up correctly on there. Hold on. Not the frag uh, let me let me remove it and get you a real one. Let me, let me get a real one out of here. Of the frag. Get my plastic one out of there. And give me that. <laughs> Thanks, God Emperor. Appreciate you. Frag grenade thrown. There. All right. Now Ooh. this one. Blast. blast. So it's blast is what we were looking for. Yeah. Blast was a blast. New system. New system. We'll all be second nature soon enough. Blast is... Blast trait target in the range depending on all characters which make... We should know this from the oh, space hole. Right? Yes, we should. Uh, one zone. <laughs> it's, it's a zone. Okay, so that... Oh, it's so a zone. zone we... Okay. It's four. So, uh, it's a four total. So, I think it would be... Um, well, let, me, let me look. I'm sure. Zone. Something is zoned to find a four meter radius sphere. So four meter is just uh, two two squares. If it's here, yep, that's right? here. That would be fine. It'd be like this. Yep. Okay. Yep, it would do exactly gonna, yeah, what you I, want. Uh, yep. I'm gonna try to get it right there with the yeah, frag grenade. I think you just do a do a throw and then. Oh god. Okay. Remember what happened last time I did this. <laughs> the, the first, the first throw all. was the first throw was not good. You're uh, an old man. Yeah, let's go ahead. I was an old man. I'm a young man now. Um, okay. That's gonna be perfect. Oh. So. Okay. Throwing trait can be used to range attack. Throwing throwing weapons this range. Throwing parentheses. See. Okay. So, um, frag grenade's damage is what? Six. Um, let's see. Frag grenade is. It's a six damage. I imagine that would be plus SL. Not on range, right? It's cause... a difference. Blast. So, damage plus the difference in SL. Okay. So oh, they yeah. do. They're doing a pose test. So they get to dodge. Uh, the so we'll do um, the smuggler first. Remember he's dodging, so he does not have to make a reaction to do this. Um, so he's going to skill, and then reflexes. Yep. Uh, so he evades it. Okay. That one evades. Thug four does make a reaction to do this. Skill dodge. Uh, so he would be so. <laughs> it's twelve. Yeah, twelve on him. Um, okay, so he takes twelve damage minus his armor, so he takes ten damage. Okay. Uh, Murder Servitor also tries to dodge. Not as funny as that sounds, but reflexes are not good. Uh, 
minus two. Um, okay. And so ten damage to him. What's his armor? His armor is four. So he takes six wounds. All right. So how does nice. how does it look as you just hit the two guys? Yeah. So Jengis, uh, he dips out from his cover real quick. Sprints across that gap. Pull the pin, fling the grenade, do, just try to get it as best I can in the middle of that big group, and then slide into cover behind the, the tent and start going for my pistol again. Mm -hmm. um, burst, how much does the burst take away? One? Is it just one? I think it is. I guess it, uh, it takes, uh, yeah, burst is yeah. one from your magazine. Yep. So, Thug 4 uh, kind of ducks. And he gets like, blasted in in the back by this huge uh, frag grenade, just like all these uh, metal shards in his back. And he's oh, you're f and he uh, he's gonna shoot you, um, Jengus, with a burst fire on his uh, auto gun. Uh, burst fire gives plus one SL. That's a miss. And a fall. Um, fumbles. Fumble, fumble, fumble. Okay, where are the fumble tables? Uh, fumble table. Okay, he fumbles. Roll. 1d10. He falls to the bottom of the initiative initiative order. Okay. Let's see how I do that. Um, how do I do? How do I make this guy have a different initiative? Uh, uh yeah, there we go. But he's already acted. So, don't let me make Thug Four go again. Um, okay. I got it. Thug Three this guy all the way over here he's going to he sees the massive blast but he also saw the hell gun shoot so he's gonna he's gonna burst at Thane I think I think that's the, the wise decision burst okay would you like to dodge? Here we go. No superiority, correct? You can. You get to use. You get to use one uh, a a round. So if you want to use it, you can use it now, or you can use it later. It's up to you. I'll use it now. Okay. So give yourself. So just change SL to yep. one. So it's a hit, but it's flat. Um, I think. Right? Did he burst fire last? He round? didn't burst. He he didn't burst. He uh, he um rapid fired. He burst fired this. That time. he. Gotcha. Yeah. So it's a tie. So I think that's a success, right? So. Yeah, because you rolled a 35. So damage is 6. So he does 2 damage okay. to me. I'll throw that out. Mine is cover, though. Oh, so, uh, cover no, so it's a wash. Yeah, yeah. It just hits the, hits the whatever. Okay, cool. Um, so that was Thug 1. He's done. We're to Thug 3. Thug 3 is going to shoot at Thane as well. Oh, three, three just went. Oh, yeah, three did just go. Two, okay. Two, two's dead. Three just went. One's with yep, you. Claudia, you're up. Oh no. Okay. Uh, well, it's one. I'm sorry. It's one. Didn't one. Go. Uh, yeah. He is gonna shoot okay. point blank at uh, Newt. There's no penalty for doing that sort of thing in this system, so he's just gonna do that. Are you 
You ready, Newt? Here we go. Uh, he's gonna, he's gonna burst. He misses badly. Newt was born ready, motherfucker. Yeah, Newt, you just Blow get out of the way. Claudia, you're up. Okay, how? What does it cost me to pull out my sword? Nothing. It's a free yeah, action. Yeah, free action. All right, I'm going to pull out my sword, and she screams her defiance at this chainsaw-wielding abomination and uh, tries to strike at it where she thinks it's going to be the most vulnerable. Okay. Combat, melee weapon, sword. Okay, so just challenging? Uh, just challenging, and you can use your SL now if you would like, so... Yes, I would like. Okay. So you just go ahead and it put a dodge. 1 in SL. She can dodge, but she just can't use, uh, she just can't use the SL for it. Wow. <laughs> what a terrible roll! How many fate points? Well, do he, I have? he you got you got two more left, but he does have to roll a defense every time for melee. So um, let me do that first. Maybe he shits the bed. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if he can shit the bed worse. Than I don't that. think he's gonna shit the bed much harder than. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you can re-roll, but you get to be to fourteen. So. It might not be worth it. Ugh. Nope, nope, not this time. Yeah, so he just oh just basically smacks you kind of across the shoulder and you just whiff. Yeah, she kind of stumbles to the side as he kind of chuckles to himself in this robotic voice. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> New cheer up. Uh, can I move here? Yeah. Will that lead an opportunity no, of attack? Uh, no, there's right? no such thing. Okay. So Newt's going to move there and he's going to turn around. You know, this thug has been kind of firing at him and it's not going anywhere. He turns around and just uh, Goes after attacks the motor Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait. Sorry, sorry. Hold on. So make sure if you uh, want to give yourself that SL. Yeah. So I first need to target the motor servitor. And SL of one, and here we go. Newt, huh? Newt, 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 Newt. Fuck yeah! Oh baby! All right, it's gonna it rolls its thing. Um, yeah, roll it, roll it, roll it. Here we go. Holy shit! So that's uh, six. So six. Uh, do you count the SL di difference on melee? I don't remember. You do. SL difference matters on melee. But it it doesn't matter on normal range, but it matters on. No, it matters on. Uh, range. It matters on normal range if you if uh, on a dodge, I think. Think but that's like what. That's why would you dodge if if um? I don't think it. I don't think it applies on. I thought we we had this discussion, remember? Yeah. So on one of them it doesn't. If you win the opposed matter. test, you deal. If you win the opposed test, you deal damage equal to your weapon damage plus the difference in SL. That's for melee. For yeah, melee. Yeah. So that's six. For range. What's your normal damage? Let's just do this real quick. Eight. Eight. So, fourteen. Uh, heavy four, rend one, penetrating two. Okay. Heavy doesn't matter. Rend. Lowers its armor by one. After this, pen pen one. Um, you said pen, pen two. two. Pen two. Oh man. Okay. So eight damage plus six, fourteen. Pen two means it only takes away two. So that's twelve damage, right? Did I get that right? Hmm? It's no. Good to me. Oh wait. No wait. How? Okay. You did how much? Okay. Uh. I thought pen two means two is definitely going to go yeah, through yeah, no matter yeah. what. Yeah, right. right. But he has four armor. So he has he has four. Let's let's do this. Okay, so. Oh yeah, yeah. Your yeah, normal correct, correct, correct. your weapon normally does eight damage, right? Yeah. And then plus six, or I'm sorry, 14. Uh, yeah, plus six. So um, that's fourteen. 
pin two, so um, with armor four, is twelve. Twelve. And then his well, armor yep. is reduced by one, so he takes twelve damage. That puts him up to eighteen wounds. Not quite dead yet. Um, okay, how does that look as you just hack into this thing brutally? Yeah, so, you know, uh, this thug one keeps shooting and, uh, you know, being in close range, maybe, you know, he has eyesight problems that he did not get fixed because he did not have enough money. Right? <laughs> and so he, <laughs> he can't seem to shoot Newt for any, you know, good reason. So, and seeing the murder servitor come up on Claudia and try and hack at her, uh, Newt steps to the side of it and... Uh, you know, just jabs the double-handed sword to, to into its like sternum from the side, and shouts shouts at it. Fight something your own size. In man. Yeah, you almost ha hack off the servitor uh, eviscerator arm, and then Thane, you're up. Uh, wh what did you find out about range? Real, real quick. On I'm range. Ready. Yeah. Um. Right. So with range damage at first if you just so just the shot no dodge attempt made it is just damage um equal to your weapon damage plus the sl of the test if you decide if the opponent decides to dodge um they can reduce the damage uh this it's let's see mm -hmm. you your opponent makes a range um if if you if you win the range test you take no damage but if the opponent wins, then it's difference in SL. So not dodging um, means that you just take the damage straight. But if you attempt to dodge, it could be complete avoidance or it could be even worse. So that's what I, that's how I'm reading this. Is that a fa Yeah, a typical range attack deals damage equal to weapon damage plus SL. But dodging triggers an opposed test, meaning a failed dodge um, makes the ranged attack deal more damage potentially equal to the difference in SL because you could really fuck up your dodge and just roll into the fire I guess is what I'm thinking and that would mean that you you get shredded like you don't dodge correctly whereas if you just stay okay. put it's just damage plus SL okay. and not not that that matters but it does say where I'm reading if you dodge and it reduces the SL of the ranged attack to plus zero or less the attack misses you entirely. So earlier when it was plus zero, oh. when we it would have missed. Okay, so so no if it is watch. zero, then you just miss. Okay. And then also uh, attacking with the ranged weapon in close quarters combat or immediate range, you have a disadvantage. Okay, so yep. so yep. that would have been that guy. Okay, cool. Unless it has no. Cool. Oh. If it's a weapon that has the close trait, you can make that. I think. Yeah. Does Thane have a shot on the murder servitor? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's going to shift are fire into to that. Melee, so let me let me look at that. There is a rule for that. So shooting into melee is, what does it say? Oh, shooting into melee. Uh, minus one SL for each combatant currently engaged with the intended target. So you would get a negative, oh, negative two on that. Man, check that. Even with it being gigantic, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, there's We're no gonna not like, do, we're not size gonna do that. thing. Size doesn't matter. No, besides what, what how, how much... <laughs> <laughs> it's the motion of the ocean, man. Come on. Okay, with that said, we're going to shoot at thug number three then. He do, he looks over and considers shooting at the servitor, but considering the mass of people there, he doesn't want to injure Newt or Claudia, so instead he focuses on uh, the thug in the open with the auto gun and shoots at him. Okay. Nice. Uh, he hasn't done his reaction yet, so he will. He will try to dodge. Oh boy, so it made it worse, yeah. 13 damage. It'd be 14 if it's minus 1, is that correct? So it's plus 6 then? Well see, it, it says it's 13 damage. Right, because plus okay. five minus one, that's plus six. What's your damage on your eight? Yeah, I don't think it. I don't think this system thinks that's how it works. Um, I don't think that there. It thinks that the difference matters. But anyway, 
we'll just do we'll do 14 for now um you, do you have pen uh, yes might i be. i like i penetrated a level of okay two. so he's dead how's it look he continues uh his burst fire on the northern side of the encampment first butchering thug on the far right and then shifting to the next one just again peppering him full of holes no blood as it's instantly cauterized by the high intensity laser he just has a smoking corpse as he falls forward into the ground dead yeah both both the starfield guards reload they start uh it's kind of this interesting uh thing they start pouring the powder in in the in the gun and take a take a ball and put it in and start ramrodding it down and all that jazz so both of them have to reload uh murder servitor is attacked and uh it doesn't like that so it turns on newt and swings its eviscerator down at him um violently quite violently um here we go may the god emperor be with you And with you as well. Oh my God! Oh my! Oh yeah! Okay, you do need you do need to roll. Um, me melee, you always roll your defense, so you're gonna want to roll your your attack or Reflex yeah, me. just uh, no, melee just two handed like or Odie. whatever. You, yeah, you can do your mate your parry. Your parry is probably better than yeah. You know. Oh yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah so just fair. just roll the crit. Just roll the crit. Nude. And I can't do the SL this time, right? If you did it already, then you cannot. No, I yeah, I did already, so I can't do it this time. Cool. Roll the crit. It's not a great roll either. Oh, no. Um, so he hit you. Um, so that's going to be twelve damage. Uh, what's your armor on your? Oh, he f he fumbled though, but you can hit he and fumbled. fumble. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't see anything that says it doesn't. There, there's actually kind of a weird rule. Um. Yeah, it's possible to fumble and still win an opposed yeah. test. Anyway, go. Uh, what what is your armor on your body? It's on, four on the body. Is that right? Three, three. Uh, I'm surprised this doesn't have rend on it, but it doesn't. Uh, so three minus the twelve, you take nine damage to your body. So just give your, I'll give you nine wounds there, and then so that's fine. That doesn't. So, yeah, you get hit by this chain uh, eviscerator. How does it look as it cuts into you and, like, rips your sternum apart? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, uh, Newt just shoved his great sword into its sternum, and while he's trying to, you know, pull his sword out, it, it gets stuck in some mechanical construct in there, and the, 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 the top part of the eviscerator, like, the murder servitor just turns around, like feet planted, but just the top turns around and he brings the eviscerator, eviscerator across uh, Newt's chest. Newt, would you like to roll it, uh, its fumble, 1d10? Do you want to do that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do I just click that fumble? Uh, maybe. Yeah, I think so. 10. Is that good if or bad? You, okay. That's Your attack good. hits that's an that's unintended out. target. If you roll this fumble on a successful attack, your melee weapon might cleave through an enemy and into an ally, or a bullet might rot. Um, yeah, right. Um, your attack hits a random ally. Weapon damage with zero SL. Roll to determine a random hit location. It's not gonna matter. Um, so uh, he would hit with uh, 11 damage on that guy. Yeah. So how does that look as well as he like cuts through you and then? goes right through you and hits that other guy uh, yeah yeah so uh you know he cuts across newt's chest newt kind of like you know gets like as as it goes across newt gets pulled back and almost like you know pushed into the other guy and he gets cut as well yeah the guy screams ah as he it just cuts through both of you you know just mindlessly trying to mow you down and it hits the guy and the... oh man <laughs> That's that is totally what a 40k. Fucking mess. Um, okay, not gonna do that, Thug. Uh, let me remove any reactions that I see. Uh, Thane has one. Okay, Smuggler one. He 
Okay, so nothing is changing superiority right now. Uh, he's going to shoot at Jengus, who he is in range of Jengus, uh, so he will try to shoot him. Um, watch the smuggler be the guy who kills somebody. Um, Maybe. Stub revolver. Here we go. That's pretty That's good. good. Um, I will. I'm going to use the superiority okay. and try to do my okay. dodge. I do not. I need a. I need a superiority right token too, just like the reactions. Now I see mm -hmm. that. We'll add that. Dodge. Did that roll? I didn't see anything. I did not roll. That is bad. I will uh, spend a fate. You can. And I will re-roll that. I do not want to. Getting shots bad for me. Did you add that as fate? Did you did you do it or did I do it? It's, I have you at two or three. I I okay, added so it. We I added it. it. Okay, go ahead. I don't you're good. Use any yep, less you're good. That's worse. Fuck me, that's worse. All right. Um, shit, so I that's six dam. That's uh six damage on top of his fives. Or I'm sorry, his six. It's twelve damage. What's your uh, what was that? I have. A body armor, body glove, oh. two armor. So that's gonna be ten. Yeah. Okay. Has the legacy shoot you in the stomach? Yeah, Jengus gets oh, oh yes, and he he curls um as it rips through. Oh, two more from the sorry um the cover if you're counting this as cover. Uh, I do not so because the, you did not take cover. You're not okay. I did at the end of my turn. Take cover is an action. Uh, you moved, thrown, and you can't. You get take cover is actually a, a action. So, Tat yeah, tactical movement. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, then two yeah. less. Yes. Okay. Cool. Um. So eight. Yep. Got it. Yeah. So the eight shot kills. Oh, fuck. Damn. Son of a bitch. And it is your turn eight. to respawn. Pearls in the tent. Mm. Just got shot. Not happy with that. Uh, but there's also this big thing, and I'm pretty sure I saw Newt almost get bisected. So, yeah, Jangus is gonna get a little bit of distance after getting shot. Um, get into these trees, but he is gonna take some shots at. Uh, it's gonna be a negative two SL because they're in melee. Uh, that's right. I I think I gotta do it. Um, you can. So yeah, he's gonna go ahead and. I already kill spent steel, my kill steel. And, uh, yeah. Um yeah, I'll take the shot. Where is it? There it is. So I get the minus two SL, but the plus two from mastercrafted and laser sight on the gun, so it's just standard flat. Miss. That is ass. I am I able to spend fate yeah, on you that can. as well? I will. It's this thing needs to die. I added it. Okay. Give me something. That's a hit. That is. That's um, there. I'm not gonna try to do anything because it's it's uh it's got horrendous um. Did it already take a reaction? What does it say? I haven't taken a reaction yet. I know that. Um, okay. So, um, yeah, it, it hits. Uh, I'll just do my opposed. So, seven damage, looks like. And seven. it has armor three, because it was rendered last time. So, do you have pin or anything like that? It's 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 four uh, damage. I mean, unless you have pin, it doesn't matter. It's it's capped, so uh, it does take a critical oh. wound. So let's let's see. So if it's four damage. It takes two. So let me go to the critical tables. All right, cool. Critical wound. Here we go. So where is the thing? That was leg. No, body. Yep, you rerolled. It was body. 
Um, so You're right for here. these, I roll d10 and then add the difference, right? Mm -hmm. So go ahead and roll d10. So it's a four. Gut shot. Uh, bleeding and knocked prone. It cannot bleed, but it can be knocked prone. So it has a look as you knock it over somehow. Yeah, so after getting shot himself, bleeding from his own stomach, uh, Angus runs over, ducks behind a tree, and lines up his shot. Shoots with the stub revolver. It hits, must hit something inside the chest. Um, because the bullet goes in, poop, 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 pow, paddles around, and then this thing just falls down um, in front of Newton Claudia. I don't know how to put it as prone, but one day I'll figure it out. Maybe. It's going through it I'm right trying now. To, I'm like clicking every single one. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Burdened, overburdened, yeah. fatigued, bleeding. Yeah, so this thing falls down, and that's Jengus' turn. Um, I'm guessing you're taking cover, yeah? yeah. Tactical movement. The thug one, uh, who, <laughs> who has been chopped by its own murder servitor, tries to shoot uh, Newt. Uh, this is a disadvantage since they're right next to each other, so he is going to shoot at Newt, try to, try to finish Newt off here. Auto gun. He's just gonna make a single shot because he's well. He'll do burst and empty his clip. So uh, that's a miss. I think if it's zero, it's a miss, right? Yeah. Yeah. Even with a. It's weird. I don't know. All right. Miss. That's a good question. We'll figure that out later. Um, Claudia, you're up. This thing is laying down in front of you. With a slip. Yes. Done. Yes, Claudia. Tell us what you do. Uh oh. Slip. She can't talk She's right slipping. now. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm, I've been hiccuping. Oh. <laughs> um, she sees this blast come from Jangus and the terrible giant fall prone for a moment, and she takes heart and with a glance at her um at her soldiers over to the right she says uh i don't know whatever the name of the planet is or the for town Jorgen. for starfall for Jorgen! and she jumps up and she tries to strike yeah, so you got quite a bit sword. of good things happening so when you when you roll you're rolling with advantage because it's prone and then when it defends it's going to roll with disadvantage Okay, so I'm gonna roll my sword. And there, there'll be I'm a, gonna there'll roll be a, thing, a radial button for advantage, so you're gonna wanna click that. Okay, I see normal. Okay, oh, I see an advantage. Okay. And, okay, so that's a miss, uh, but it needs to roll too, so we'll do that first. So it's gonna roll with disadvantage. Roll with disadvantage. No, it says marginal failure. Should I roll advantage or anything? It did advantage. If you see it, you rolled a 74 oh. and I swapped it to a 47. Uh-huh. Okay. So he... So it hit it uh, for one. Um, so, yeah. So basically, you hit for one. What's the damage on your sword? It's, uh... It is what? Um, Combat. Look. Five. So that's six damage. Yeah, five. Uh, it has three armor, so three damage. So that's three over, and uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't roll. I don't roll the d10, right? Or do I? On the crit, on the critical wound table. Kind of blanking on that because he takes his critical wound because. 
He's full. He can't take another one anyway. It kills it. He's only got one critical wound. It doesn't even matter. So how do you kill this? Okay, awesome. She sees it take a blast. It goes prone, and as it's trying to rise again, she glances over at Jengus and at her men, and she takes a deep breath, and she runs, and she jumps, and she says, What's this, Jorian? Starfall's the town. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay, she's, For Starfall! But she says it in a dialect you might not even understand them. As she comes down with her sword, it comes down on the side of its neck right into a joint and severs a bunch of um, servers and, um, you know, hydraulics. And um, there's a bunch of sparks and she kind of... Um, transfixes in the air she struck with a you know backlash of this electricity but it doesn't hit her very hard and um as she comes back down to the ground the sword you know touching the ground the creature the person or whatever this is um it stiffens and um starts to stagger and falls to the side with the um, electric groan of mm. yeah this thing everybody like looks in horror um, at least they do as it dies and uh... Uh, the spinning blade comes to a stop just in front of her face and she then uh, rises up to her feet and she cries FORSTARFALL as she looks at the remaining um, scavengers and she kind of points her swords at them and says FLEE and they do attempt to um, Newt you can uh, off this guy or show him pity or I'll let you kind of we'll drop into the kind of narrative we don't need to finish off the combat so. Oh, uh, show whom pity? This guy who's been missing yeah. me? Oh yeah, no, he Neat turns just around, uh, turns around and begins to run. And just beheads yeah, him. Just chop yeah, off as he's head. about to run. Chop off his head, yeah. yeah. Uh, the other guys try to run, or are you going to try to stop them? Uh, Thane's going to kneecap the smuggler who appears to be the leader of the group. He can Man, be why don't you give me a shot infant. just to see if you can. Yeah, I'll aim and shoot. I'll try to walk down the thug. Yeah, the thug you can kill. <laughs> yeah, the smuggler's the lead, so I'll give him a chance to get away. Alright, shoot. You can use your SL. You can use two SL, because you have two SL. Won't burst fire him. I want him to keep his legs. <laughs> yeah, I would say he gets away. He he trucks out of there, uh, runs into the woods as you miss. Um, and uh, yeah, he run you little bitch. He <laughs> and he disappears, and the other thug, uh, Jengus, you can kill him if you like. Yeah, the wrong side, friend. Blasts him back in the chest, drops him. Yep, dead. Thane can walk up. What on everyone? Looks like uh, we seize the day in the name of the Emperor. Kind of looks down to the dead servitor and the eviscerator in his hand. He kind of looks at Nudie and goes, You should take that as a combat trophy. See if the. It's attached, it would be. You could cut it rip off. Rip it you off. You could cut it off, but. Have it repurposed by could, the you Mechanicus. Could, you could do that, yeah. Claudia is grinning yeah, from ear to ear. She stands on top of this creature with one foot and she, you know, yells something to her men. You know, you hear Starfall, but some of the others of a dialect you don't quite get. And she looks at the others and says, uh, <laughs> We have done it! 
take what you need and get off my planet, you fucking outworlders! <laughs> Seems you didn't need us after all as you delivered the killing blow. You do, you do notice something in the air. It's a lot of smoke. Um, it's not from the temple either. It's from the town. Um, she looks over at the town. But the, the ship is there and uh, yeah, that's what you see. What is that smoke in the distance, Claudia? I don't know. She says kind of quietly, almost to herself. Yeah, one of the guards says, We should go and see what is amiss. She waves to them. Go. Go find out what is happening. They run to their mounts. And then come back and report. They run to their mounts and hop on and disappear. Claudia looks to the rest of you. Uh, I do not mean to seem ungrateful. It is just that uh, the Earth world has not brought but much trouble to my planet and to my city. But I do thank you for your help in resolving this matter. And she kind of kicks the creature that has fallen before her and this monstrosity we could not have ever come it without you we did it as a team you played a part in it as well as your men as he kind of watches them rush off on their mounts yeah she kind of smirks as her men go off on their mounts they did their best. They shot once. Oh. Genghis goes over to the nude. Looks him over and look at him. Damn, buddy. They don't look too good. It's gonna be alright till we get you back to the Medicaid. Ah, oh, this is but a scratch. It will heal in time. Like all yeah. my scars. Big man, you are not in need of assistance. We do have some healers in our village. Ah, it's quite all right. We must return back to our ship. Our lord may be in our need. Plus, your town seems to be in grave danger. No, thank you for your concern. But we must be on our way. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but who here among us can fly a lighter? <laughs> there could be a pilot servitor in there. You actually, you kind of uh, look through the, look kind of inside, and there is one in there. Well, Claudia, may I offer you a ride to your town in the lighter? We'll probably beat your guard there. She looks a little hesitant, obviously having never ridden upon a vehicle such as that but then she grins ear to ear with excitement yes yes take me upon the and deliver me to the city to the village to the village it will be something to speak of thank you oh my it's like i i came from a world similar to this lacking technology uh any of the advancements of the Imperium, but uh, you'll enjoy it. You get used to it pretty quickly. Perhaps on the way, you can tell me of what else I do not know of beyond Darfall. Yeah, you uh, climb into the lighter and the, you give the commands to the pilot servitor and it flies over towards Starfall and uh, when you head there Claudia you see um, kind of something that uh, surprises you a bit uh, the whole town is on fire um, you're not sure uh, how this happened um, but then you do see um, actually uh, a gunfight in the street 
uh, with two of those thugs that uh, had made their way out of the camp um, and they had spot spotted you on the ridge and they uh, were taking action to get their revenge perhaps um, and your guards are shooting at them and they're shooting at the, the guards and and uh, they're getting the better of it because they have auto guns obviously we can just narratively play this out yeah bastards the thing to take my town fire upon them she just kind of looks at the others as if they know how to operate the ship. Yeah, the, the murder ser- or the, the pilot servitor sh- doesn't take, he doesn't know what you're talking about. So just... he, he goes to the servitor, open the ramp, and hover above the town, and then if it does so, he's just going to take a knee and switch the burst fire and yeah, open that, up the can. Yeah, you shoot him down from above. Oh, she says, just kind of cackling as you <laughs> fire upon these outworlders who are trying to take out her local villagers. Yeah, it's it's mostly a turkey shoot. Yeah, they, yeah, you as he cuts them down. And, <clears throat> yes. I'm sorry for your town doesn't seem like there's much left from these guys. <laughs> My people don't know how to take ever. She looks at the, uh, out as the ship kind of lands in the midst of the town square, and the people who were, the smugglers who were attempting to kind of, you know, take control from this vantage point. I kind of gunned down. She looks out of the ship as the lamp ro- as the ramp lowers, and she uh, grins and she says, "I do not think that uh, outworlders will uh, think it's such an easy thing to land here at Starfall again. That we are so vulnerable and so ignorant." And she looks out at her people, and she kind of raises an, uh, an upraised fist. Stuff all! Stuff all! And the, the people kind of uh, cheer back at her, and uh, well, she says, But, uh, in truth, it, we could not have done it without you. We're glad we could help each other. Like we said, we held up your under the our, our end of the bargain. You held up yours. He kind of looks at the town. He goes, "Tell me, when you look up at the stars, uh, do you ever wish of visiting them, seeing them, seeing the worlds beyond this one?" She looks up at the sky and she looks out at the town. Who does not? But, uh, who knows what the future shall foretell from these uh, scavengers you shall find, I'm sure, what you need to make your way off planet. Just, and she holds out her hand, tell me that you will not forget. The name of Starfall or Claudia of Starfall. I have a feeling that in the future our paths may cross again. He takes her hand, he goes, I will not forget, but I will also say the Lord we serve is a rogue trader. I know that means nothing to you, but they are mm-hmm. always looking for exceptional individuals to bring into their service just a thought for you in case you ever grow uh beyond what starfall and jorgen can provide you jorgen that is what you call it it has always been a name that seems too small for me 
who knows what the future holds for any of us. And she looks out at uh, Jengis and the rest of your crew. And she holds out her hand. For the rest of you, Starfall is in your debt. Jankus looks to Claudia. Well, you got us with a ladder. I'd say you're square as far as I'm concerned. Deal's a deal. All the Emperor's servants working one another. That's what the Empire's all about. Yes, the Empire and all of that. And what of you, big man? I go where my lord tells me to go and where the Emperor directs me. But you have fought brave. Well and brave today. We could use someone like you in our company. Think about Chigurins. it. Chigurins. Uh, you flatter me, but... Uh... I have a feeling, and she kind of just taps her heart. I have a feeling that this is not the last you shall see of Claudia. And in that case, till we meet again, be well, be strong. I thank you, warrior sent from Torn, servants of the Empire. And until we meet again. Then she kind of just taps her heart twice and holds her fist high. May the stars shine upon you. May the Emperor smile upon you. And do not be surprised when I, Claudia, again cross your path. To bless you as you have blessed us here at Starfall. And um they think it's the sign of the Aquila and if that's it he's gonna get on the lighter then. Yeah. You say your goodbyes and leave Claudia in the smoking uh, town. And uh Leave her for now, at least, as the lighter turns, and uh, where are you going to tell the pilot servitor to take you? We're going to try and reach the uh, cruiser. Yeah, you turn, and you start heading up through the atmosphere very quickly. It starts raining, and the lighter starts shaking as you break atmosphere into the, the void. And uh, these two massive Imperial cruisers are... Um, exchanging volley fire and just about that time as you enter the void uh, you see the uh, black storm which is the von scald uh, imperial cruiser um, enter the warp uh, there's this uh, horrible um, light that shines as it as it enters this the immaterium and disappears suddenly leaving all these smaller gunships uh, flying around and another Imperial cruiser uh, which you are not sure who is and as your lighter enters the void with no way to uh, get into the immaterium or follow your um, your Lord's cruiser um, that's where the scene will uh, end and the session will also end and that's it Well, let's go back to Starfall, guys. <laughs> Remember when you said our paths would cross <laughs> again? Really I think quick. you didn't think it'd be so soon. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> shit. I think I left my bathroom in the wallet. And my wallet in the bathroom at your... Huh? You know, truck stop. <laughs> 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 I see that... The, the, you traded hiccups for the wines. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, remember when we 